Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Car X Drift Racing 2 with Brogue Hammer Auto House. Today, we have a new update. It's been a while since we've had one, and uh, we got a couple things. We got a couple new cars, the Moon Knight and the Lumberjack. We got club battles, we got license plates, vinyl packs. They optimized some things so that the ads actually work now. Um, so I thought it was really interesting. I'm gonna hop out. We're gonna test drive the Moon Knight. I did not purchase this car yet, but I thought um, it may be worth kind of showing you guys a little bit of how they perform. I was oddly, surprisingly impressed with the Moon Knight. Um, I think with an engine swap and a little more power, it'd be a lot of fun. Um, but the way it's set up, you know, it's mediocre angle, I would say. And um, it holds the line really smooth. But fourth gear, I was pinned for a long time. And it just, it can hold its own. But, you know, I would definitely change the gearing on it a little bit. Um, it just didn't quite have enough behind it, in my opinion. So that's something to keep in mind. But it was, it's a, it's a fun car. You know, I, I really am glad that they keep adding new vehicles, making the game interesting. And we're going to go through all the, uh, you know, update details here in just a moment. Uh, I drove this, the Moon Knight, and then also the Lumberjack, which you'll see here in just a moment. And... Wow, I mean, they are two drastically different cars. Um, it's a totally different deal between each one. You know, this is a nice little R32 sedan. Um, you know, assuming it's rocking the RV power. Most of these games, it's hard to tell with the stock motor, but nonetheless, really cool car. So highly suggested. I'm hoping it comes out in the event very soon. The other one here is the Lumberjack, which only has 295 horsepower. Um, when you buy it stock. Obviously, a lot of these cars have low power until you fully upgrade them to Pro Drift 3, but I figured let's take it for a test drive. When you go for a test drive, um, it actually gives you the Pro Drift 3 tune um, in order to test it out because obviously a stock motor, uh, you basically can hardly drift in this game uh, with no upgrades or tuning. So uh, I was surprised the Lumberjack, as much of a soccer mom car that it is uh, was able to get down uh, third and fourth gear held pretty well and we're able to keep the wheels turning and it made it you know to me it was really surprising I see a Forester wagon and I go mm, yeah okay you know not really a drift car but we'll see what it can do and so we're gonna see you know this one you can buy right now it's 110,000 uh, coins and so I might have to give that a shot at some point, but I really want to get that Moon Knight upgraded first. And that's the one that's kind of speaking to me more right now. So we'll see how things change as we go forward, but I plan on upgrading these, doing some tuning videos on them, you know, seeing what we can do. And then maybe in the future here, we'll jump into some of the club battles. If you haven't submitted top drift clip submissions, check out the email in the description below or the discord, submit some videos and uh, that'll be up tomorrow sometime. So be sure to check that out. Let's jump into all the details of the new update. All right, guys, so on to the update details. So if you hit the little page button here at the top, as you can see highlighted in yellow, we have update 1.20.1, and uh, we got a lot of stuff here. We got club battles, um, co-op tasks, beating opponents from other clubs, climbing the ratings and everything. That's gonna be kind of fun to play with. Um, the clubs have been fairly useless um, for the last, you know, X amount of years that they've had them. Uh, they haven't really been anything special. So I'm interested to see what that brings to the table. Um, we also have license plates. Now we can put on our cars. So we'll give that a shot. Uh, telemetry for the XDS replays. New cars. We got the Moon Knight and the Lumberjack, which I'll show you guys both of here in just a moment. And then we got some new vinyl packs. And then it looks like a polish and overall optimization and bug fixes. Be sure to come here to the update page and collect your free 15 gold at the bottom. You just hit get reward there and click OK and you get 15 gold just for uh, the update. So um, let's take a look at the cars real quick. So there's a couple different ones we have. You can buy the spec car, the Moon Knight. It's a four door R32 um, that's all, you know, Japanese out, spec out and uh, looks like real drift style. Uh, it's $6.99, but you can get this car uh, straight up in an event, which I'm hoping they release soon. So it's a tier two car and it says get it in the event. 
Well, the current event doesn't have it available, so it's not a part of the current event, obviously. Um, but, you know, hopefully that's maybe the next event that comes out. We can get this car. I always like the option of being able to get an event get it in an event rather than having to purchase the car. I just think that's kind of ridiculous. So um, we'll see how that shapes up. I'm hoping to get that really soon. And then over in tier three here, we have the Lumberjack. So this is a Subaru Forester. Kind of random that this would be added to the game, but bone stock, it only has 265 horsepower. Um, and as you saw just prior, we took it out for a test drive. So um, really interesting stuff. I'm interested to see how the license plate deal works. We'll try to do that real quick and see um, if it's an easy thing for us to add on. I'm assuming it's here, yep, right under the front bumper. License plate, so you can pick the style. So on the license plates here, when you hit them, um, it'll show you what's locked or unlocked. There's regular plates. We'll try one of these Navarros. We'll set it, free, looks like it does a random number and then we'll try a rare one and see what that happens to do. Okay, probably not worth it. I thought we were gonna be able to write our own license plates, but this is a start. So we'll see, uh, you could get VIP car, LOL, best drift car. So there's some interesting ones there to check out for sure. So. Um, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. I appreciate it as always. Be sure to stay tuned for a top drift clip starting tomorrow, Saturday. That will be out and uh, we'll go from there. So put your life in drive. We'll see you next time.